knees and stretch to both sides and roll up now we're going to use that small piece of paper that I mentioned we're going to be working the inner thighs so we just happen to have a piece of paper handy and let's place it under one foot give you a little slippage particularly if you're on a carpeted surface it will allow you to do the exercise so let's start with the feet together as I said we're working the inner thighs and we're going to use the piece of paper to facilitate our, our movement so it goes like this now you're going to pull in with the straight leg and slide and pull using both inner thighs squeeze you have to really focus your mind's eye on the area that you're working so you can get the most intensity so picture the legs pulling together as they're doing it the body stays lifted the shoulders are down okay now let's just take it at halfway and in so we're going to go a little faster out and in try to relax the toes I find very often when I'm really um, intent on doing something, not only do the shoulders come up, but the toes kind of grab. You should be feeling this in the inner thighs as well as the gluteal muscles. And let's change. Here we go. Out and in. As you lower, the body actually lifts. Use the inner thighs. That's your motor. That's where the action is. And faster. So it's in. Lift to a standing position and then lower. abdomen shoulders the neck is long concentrate on the inner thighs and pull it's a pull and a squeeze just a few for four three two now let's just hold the ankles and knees together and squeeze the last four three squeeze harder tighten the gluteal muscles and the last 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 delicious one all right okay let's kind of uh, stretch one leg at a time stretch into the inner thighs the flat back and the other side okay now we're going to work the calves so I want you to place one foot in front of the other and I'll stand somewhat to the side the heel will be raised and let's lean forward so that the knee is basically over the ankle and the action is down and up the ankle forward of the knee up and up but rather than rocking the body kind of stay over the front leg up could do this with leg weights always the chance you get a little more intensity and of course if you want to use something a chair or a countertop for balance that would work Shoulders down, abdomen in. The heel is lifting hard. 
And I think you could do this with your foot also on a, a block or a book. Get a little different action. And hold it, and a small lift. If you get any kind of a feeling that's crampy, with the muscles cramping, let's go ahead and change feet. Then by all means, stop and stretch. Let's get the form correct. Square it off, up and down. The only time you really, you have to stop is if you get an ouch kind of pain. And it's important that you recognize that as, a, as something to be dealt with. It's not a negotiation. It's paying attention. I'm, I'm tending to want to rock my body, but you really want to stay forward. And push. Focusing right in on the calf muscles. Because you know, the calf muscles, well, they go south like everything else, and it's not pretty. Faster. Up. So we're not touching. The skin, um, skin on the legs needs to be supported by the muscles. For the youthful, uplifted look which we all so desire. Okay, the last four, three, two, and one. Let's have the feet side by side, and we're just going to alternate, lift, and lift. Kind of push over your toes. Okay, and let's just stretch by bringing the toe toward the shin, and you can accentuate a little by putting your hand on the toe and lifting. Of course, it goes without saying, but I'll say it, that if you get a little sore in the next day or two, well, that means you've done your job. That's a good thing. We like that. Not, um, it doesn't have to be all, all the time. In other words, you don't always have to be sore to know that the exercise is working, but it does mean that you've pushed, and that's what we want. Okay, to cool down. Lift the shoulders and press, and lift the arms and bend the knees. Lift the shoulders and press. Lift the arms and bend the knees. Now let's open the back. And clasp the hands overhead. And release. Bring the arms to the front and back. Bring them up as high as you can. Let's do it again and reach. All the way up and down. Now let's lunge to the side and face the leg. The hands on the knee. Bring the arms up and over. The arms up. And front. Now let's just make a big circle with the arms. Slowly and controlled. All the way down, bend the knees. And reverse the action. Lean over around the back down like a raggedy end off. And roll up. Head last. Let's bring one arm down and tilt the head to the opposite shoulder. And change.
One more reach to the top. Inhale. And down. Thank you for joining us. Now, I hope that we meet on a regular basis because it takes that consistency to keep the muscles and the bones strong. So you must keep this going, well, for the rest of your life. And I hope that, that we're together for a very long time. That's my plan. <laughs>